Hey everyone, are you in the market to buy a home but can't afford a regular single family home, town home, or condo, but still want a place to call it your own? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys a little story about my client and also some tips on being aware on buying a mobile home. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Ben, your agent with Aguilar Realty Group, EXP Realty. I'm very excited that you're here today. Let me start off with telling you guys about my client. He is a client that is looking to buy in my local area and he got his pre-approval just like everyone else should. Got the pre-approval first. We started looking at homes, come to find out the prices in our area is too high for him which makes his monthly payment way too high. So we had to get real with what's going on and reschedule um, things and how it should work out. And we came to find out with his goals that it would be better for him to find a mobile home, right? So let me go ahead and share with you guys a few tips about buying and being aware of a mobile home sale. All right, so the number one thing, guys, is when I went out with him, uh, we saw that there's two units on the lot, that the park that he wanted to go see. Later on, we found out that those are two other more units on the lot that we wanted to go see. So we came to find out, guys, that there's typically sometimes more than one mobile home that is for sale. So make sure you take advantage of your time and just go to all of them. You know, if you can, you know, schedule ahead of time if you need to, right? All right. So number two, the biggest thing about mobile home buying, right, is that it's just like a regular offer when you're buying a home. You submit an offer to the agent. But the additional thing that you need to do is also get approved not only to from the seller getting accepted but also the park so the park has their own terms that you got to be okay with and they got to be okay with you so what you do is you tell if you're an agent you tell your client some some parks will allow the agent to go on the client's behalf to pick up the park application fill it out and set it in um, they don't do emails for some parks I came to find that out um, because the application is all handwritten and everything like that. So, or the other thing you can do is just attend, uh, go with your client to go pick up the uh, application so you know what's going on, right? Um, the third thing, guys, so when you buy a condo or a town home or even some nicer communities for a single family home, you will come to find out that there are HOAs. What is an HOA? Well, HOA usually upkeep the maintenance of either the pool or the community center that you get to use or the landscape of the area. Well, in a mobile home or a land lease that we're talking about here or AKA manufacturer home, um, you they, instead of a regular HOA fee, which can be anywhere from two to 300 in Southern California, well, with the land lease, it's we're finding out now it's anywhere from $900, $900 and up. It's insane. It's crazy. So tip number four to be aware is when you're working with your buyer or, your, or if you're a buyer working with your agent, you want to make sure that you understand your monthly payment. So not only do you need to take account of the loan that you get from a mobile home lender, but also the land lease and put those two together and that would be your monthly payment. So hopefully that monthly payment hits your goals and it won't be too expensive, right? Number five, this is a really important thing is that for land lease, there's a term. So some terms are still good for the park and they last 30, 40 years. So you got to find that out ahead of time, right? So if a term is ending in 10 years and your mortgage is 30 years, 
um, there's something wrong with that, you know, and and you know what happens is, um, you know, my tip and beware of uh, number six is that there is a clause for a surrender clause. So if it happened to worst case scenario, the land, the park does not renew that that land lease term. Guess what? Mr. Buyer, Mrs. Buyer, you're asked out. So if that actually happens and you're still in your mortgage, you still have to give up the land. Yes, you own the home, but you got to give up the land. So it's it's a it's a lot of details. Um, what you need to be beware as a buyer and as an agent helping your client out on this. So um, if there's any additional questions or anything like that. Um, feel free to give me a call or if you're in the market to buy a home, please reach out to me. I service the LA, Orange County and Riverside, Southern California market. I love to help you out. Again, once again, I'm Ben, your agent with Aguilar Realty Group, brokered and powered by eXp Realty. Thank you so much for your support. Tag a friend if you know on the on the comments below or share this video to your group or someone you know that is in the market to buy a house and hope this video helped you out. Hope you guys like this video. Have a blessed day and see you on the next video. Take care.